Well, hello, my lovelies. Good morning. This is Gretchen here with your herbalism video today. So Yoku Kansan is a Campo um, compound. Campo is a Japanese medicine, Japanese medicine that is based on traditional Chinese medicine. Campo medicines are traditional Japanese herbal medicines used in Japan for more than 1500 years. They were introduced from China and are now fully integrated into Japan's modern medical health system. So they know what they're doing with these things. We're going to talk about Yoku Kansan. Yoku Kansan is this amazing um, compound and I'm going to be referring to my notes often for this because I have several of them open. Um, so you, Yoku Kansan um, is made up of seven crude herbs and we'll get to those herbs. I'll list them for you in a minute. They, this uh, amazing, amazing, amazing thing works with so many different brain things. It works with brain fog. It'll work with COVID brain fog. I'm just gonna throw that out there now because I know a lot of people are still suffering from COVID brain fog. Alcoholism brain fog, if you've recovered from alcoholism, but your brain's still not quite firing. Those neurons haven't regenerated yet. You're doing your lion's mane, you're doing your go-to cola, you're doing everything you're supposed to. Maybe your polygala tenufolia, if you follow my channel with any regularity. This little bad boy, this compound, this will clear up all the rest of that brain fog and help to rewire your brain in the next 12 weeks. It also helps with Alzheimer's. It helps with um, dementia, with Lewy body dementia. It helps with uh, bipolar disorders. It helps with borderline um, personality disorders. It helps with schizophrenia. It helps with anxiety, generalized anxiety, agoraphobia, socialized anxiety, social anxiety. Um, all these different things it helps with. It does help with those bigger, the, the ones that are going through the really big brain diseases. It helps them with the aggravation and hallucinations. Helps people with MS and fibromyalgia um, because of the way that it repairs the brain. It really helps. All right, so let's start with um, disorders like bipolar, anxiety, social anxiety, uh, Alzheimer's, dementia, Lewy body, Alzheimer's, that type of, uh, or dementia with Lewy body. Uh, vascular dementia, etc. So the neuropharmacological mechanisms underlying the efficacy, the effects, the, the good things of Yoku Kansan um, are pretty basic. So they show that Yoku Kansan has multiple neurotransmitter mechanisms related to the glutamatergic, the serotonergic, the cholinergic, and the dopaminergic, adrenergic, and the GABA um, transmissions. It has neuroprotective effects and promoting effects on the neuroplasticity, including neurogenesis. So I'm going to break that down. What that all means basically is these herbs are really, really good at repairing the hippocampal. It's good at repairing that norepinephrine systems, the dopamine systems, the serotonin systems, getting those GABA receptors back online, um, getting those connections going again. It crosses the blood brain barrier and it does these repairs in your brain. Um, when it's doing these repairs in your brain, not only is it doing these repairs, but it's promoting the effects of neuroplasticity. So it's making your brain healthier and making it more able to defend itself against invaders going forward. A lot of these diseases, yes, they may be familial, but they are most likely um, enhanced by environmental causes like your food, um, your water, what you're breathing, that kind of thing, a lot where you're working, uh, where you live. That definitely has a big, huge effect on it. And in addition to that, neurogenesis. So what does that mean? That means you're gonna start rebuilding your brain and getting these new neurons in there. So that's really, really great. Um, it has multiple, multiple neuropharmacological actions, which are involved in various clinical uh, benefits. So the other neurological and cognitive, it shows that it decreases aggressiveness, it decreases hallucinations, it decreases anxiety, it decreases insomnia, because we know that when we sleep, we feel so much better. I'm going to keep scrolling. <laughs> All right, so this largely, oh, and this is a child safe herb. This is put in the Japanese Campo in the medical, 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 medicine books for children as well. If you have children who are having psychological um, problems, uh, if they're having really huge aggravations, if they're having night terrors, that type of stuff, it's really good. 
This also, um, some medicines, some of the like antidepressants and stuff give you this thing called tardive dyskinesia. So that's where you get these different tw ticks and twitches in your face. Yoku Kansan gets rid of those, so it'll help get rid of that little side effect. And I know it's not a common side effect, but I can't imagine that it would be, you know, a welcomed side effect. I would not welcome a side effect like that. Um, let's get to brain injury. So it works really great for brain injury. They tried this on about 200 people with destructive and aggressive behaviors. They were treated with neural or neuroleptics before. Um, there, there were seven patients, five men and two women, who could not be controlled with the neuroleptics, and they were given the Yoku Kansan three times a day before meals. Their main underlying conditions contained um, brain contusions in three patients, acute subdural hematoma in two, and acute epidural hematoma in the other two. The following assessments were carried out at a baseline and one to two, one and two weeks after initiation of the treatment. Um, the Glasgow Coma Scale for the assessment of the disturbed consciousness for traumatic brain injury. Neuropsychiatric inventory for the distress of medical staff. Mini mental state examination for cognitive function. And the Barthel Index for activity of daily living. Vitality Index for motivation. Um, presence of adverse effects and drug interactions. All right, I'm gonna throw up, I'm gonna put this link in the bottom and I'm also gonna throw up these slides. So this slide that is following, it shows you the benefits of the effects of Yoku Kansan. So Yoku Kansan um, changes several markers that are indicative of consciousness status. Um, after Yoku Kansan had been given to patients, they showed significant improvements in various portions of their brain. The subscales such as agitation, aggression, and disinhibition were also significantly improved. So if you have a family member who is at that frustrated part of their Alzheimer's or their dis the dementia, within two weeks you can see a significant improvement with this. Um, cerebral scintigraphy was carried out in patients two weeks two before and two weeks after treatment, revealing a significant improvement after two weeks of treatment. No adverse effects or drug interactions between Yoku Kansan and Western medicines were observed. Now. I did want to throw this out there. If you are on morphine for any type of pain relief and you have been upping, upping, upping your um, intake, if you're on Yoku Kansan, please, please, please talk to your doctor. Yoku Kansan takes out that um, dependency of morphine from your body. So that morphine level will start to feel higher and higher. So when you're taking Yoku Kansan, instead of your body getting used to morphine and getting used to morphine and getting used to morphine, it stays down here at this level. So your body doesn't get used to the morphine and you don't have to up it, up it, up it, up it, and then go into that possible overdose. Again, just a certified herbalist, certified master herbalist, please talk to your doctors when you're switching out your meds. All right, that's another really great thing with um, the Yoku Kansan, especially if you have someone who has dementia with Lewy body or Alzheimer's, um, any of those really bad uh, inflammatory diseases. Now, for my MS people, people who have MS should definitely be taking this just because of the the portions of the brains that it hit, the portions of the brain that it hits, and it will help you with your um, a lot with your tics. It will help you a lot with your um, if you get the uh, rashes from it. It helps get rid of those rashes too. Um, it does it does a lot for a lot a lot a lot for MS brains. I only recommend this for MS brains or for fibromyalgia brains. Um, you will not just you will not believe the difference. I mean, how much you'll wish you'd found this sooner. <laughs> you really will have wished you found this sooner. And I apologize that you didn't find this sooner. But look at it this way: your quality of life will start to come back. ALS, ALS um, people, please take this. Please, please take this. Do this with some um, visual healing. I know what the doctors say, and I know what the herbalists say. So take this. Listen to your true voice. Don't let anybody tell you what's going on with your body or your brain or when you're going to die. Look at Stephen Hawking. He lived with ALS for, what, 50 years? Um, anyway, back to this. So dementia, and I know I keep saying dementia, but it is the most frequent age-related neurocognitive disorder. And it's on the rise. Um, it's on the rise mostly in the States because of our wonderful diets that we have. 
Um, our diets are set up to basically destroy our brains and our bodies and get that really lovely gut access thing. That's the other thing I wanted to talk to you about. If you've been on any type of um, antidepressants um, for any amount of time, your gut is likely destroyed. <laughs> what happens then is your gut leaks microglia. These microglia get into your blood. Um, they go up to your brain through the blood brain barrier into that blood system where they attack that hippocampal region. When they attack that hippocampal region, they're like, oh, hey, we're here to help. Um, oh no, the cytokines come and they're like, hey, we're here to help, but they don't, they're like, oh my God, what's going on? So they send too many cytokines to the area. So then what happens? You have those microglia from your gut, made it up to your brain. Brain's like, we're under attack, send the cytokines to get the, the glia out. It inflames your hippocampal, causing it longer to recover. So you do really need to do some gut work too, probiotics, any fermented foods. Um, I don't recommend dairy just because dairy is an inflammation and it does irritate your gut. There is, it's called An Ancient Probiotics SBO Gut Restore. They have all the herbs that you need to restore your gut in there. I'll throw that uh, a little link down there or I'll throw a slide up because I do really like this one. Um, and get that gut fixed. So once you get that gut fixed, while you're fixing your brain, that brain fog will come out so much faster, especially if you've done the work already and you've like really, 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 you're clean and you're sober. This is for my recovery people, my opioid addicts and my alcoholics who still have that brain fog or if you have that COVID brain fog. Um, within two weeks, you'll just be amazed at the quality of your life. My fibromyalgia people, my MS people, you guys as well. Everybody who has a brain inflammation, inflammatory disease should be taking this with the approval of your doctor. Has no contraindications with any of the um, epilepsy medicines with any of the multiple. It doesn't have any contraindications that I know of. Like I said, I will put up those herbs and you can go through these with your doctors one at a time. Um, and I will put up hopefully a link linking it to Ayoku Kansan that I found that I really agree with. Um, so let's repair some brains, shall we? These, these herbs are just amazing. And the way it works is it just goes into that, that cingulate cortex and it sh 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 goes everywhere. But it really, really like buffs up that hippocampal, which is where we destroy, right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep in mind, I do a lot of Reiki videos. Um, if you like that, if this natural healing stuff is your jam, please hit that subscribe button for me. And until next time, namaste.